All right, all right, all right. It is uh, that uh, time of the most happening, you know, and trending show on the spot. A show that brings your trending people, musicians, actors, business people, you name them. Yesterday, we had uh, um, uh, quite a show. I had two guests. You know, the first one was the Tadiwa Nashema Betela, the Whiz Kid, who came out with 50 points at the Zinsec A Level 2022. Uh, the other one was, um, I mean, a uh, Nigerian singer, you know, Debanj. He was on the show last night. You can check out the interviews on Stive and Facebook page as well as my YouTube. YouTube channel in case you miss them right today i'm hosting an award-winning attorney and author a transformational speaker as well as a, a law lecturer you know he has an, over 20 books to his name i'm talking about the most talked about advocate and transformational speaker in the land arthur marara he will be taking us through you know his life journey uh, from being a teacher in machingo to becoming one of the most sought after attorneys we have in our country it is an honor to have you on the show, Advocate Mara. I always have that. I always have a good profile. I don't quit the mood. It is your profile, right? It is your profile. <laughs> That's quite humbling, eh? Yeah. And uh, it's finally good to be uh, on your show. Yeah. Um, I mean, last time we were on air together, we were still with My Judah. My Judah, that's back in yeah, 2017. Phenomenal. And I love the work you're doing. Yeah, thank you. Um, I love how you've changed after. Um, uh, three to six express. Three to six, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I love how you've changed what happens after three to six. And, mm -hmm. and keep it up, eh? Yeah, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's still proper to say um, compliments of the new season. Yeah, it's, it's still, 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 still. <laughs> <laughs> compliments. It's right. been like 18, 18 days into 2023. It, 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 is, yeah. it is. It is. And it is. Uh, how have you been, advocate? Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm, I've always been a positivist. I, yeah. I, I believe in looking out for the good. And looking out for the positive things in mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's really a great year. It's promising to be a great year. Mm -hmm. And um, the signs are already showing as well. Yeah. 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 And uh, you grew up in the city of Masingo in a family of five children. Yes. Uh, tell us briefly about your, your background. I forget. You, you know, I'm, I'm just an ordinary person, by the way. Yeah. Um, I just have extraordinary determination. Mm -hmm. So, I, I'm first of all in a family of five. I think I've always made this story, story when I usually say um, or, or on, on the galaxy with, uh, with Vikendi. Yeah. Uh, I'm first born in a family of five. I was born in um, in Gurue. Mm -hmm. I don't know, in Toko rather. In Toko. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. In Toko, my mother's raw home. Mm -hmm. And um, we moved in Masringo back then, uh, 1987. Mm -hmm. um, that's when I moved because my father was transferred to to Masringo, where mm -hmm. he was working as a district uh, development fund employee, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. driver. Uh, I passed away in 1998 when mm -hmm. I was 18. Mm -hmm. So I literally grew with, uh, with a single mother. Yeah. I'm so thankful to and to God, to have a mother who really believed in me, mm. which is why I'm so passionate as well about issues to do with empowerment. Mm -hmm. I really want to see our women being empowered mm -hmm. uh, to an extent that we don't look forward to men as a financial source. Yeah. We are also able to have our own lives and so forth. Yeah, so from from Cheke, um, I did my primary in, in Don Bosco. Mm -hmm. And those who know my string, I was at Don Bosco Primary. From grade two up to grade seven. Form one up to form six, I was in Chega High School, a government school. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm so thankful to all those schools that, that I passed through. They yeah. really, I think they made me who I am. Mm -hmm. And um, so after finishing my A-levels, I remember um, I wanted to work for one of these uh, retail shops. They are cool. They are so clean on my shelves. And there's a little brain jet. Waiting for, for my results oh, for yeah. A-level. That's what oh, I wanted yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. But the mm -hmm. thing is that he means, in the young means again, Okay. Now the young men's question is better. I'm not sure how to do I'm 50 points. <laughs> and don't worry about all that. I'm mm -hmm. a young men's at all level C, or English, all level C, English, A level, mm -hmm. third class university communications class. Yeah. yeah. So I think the, the greatest breakthrough was actually failing that interview. Mm -hmm. Because that led me to a path where I had to look for the next opportunity, mm -hmm. which was temporal teaching. Mm. Yeah, so I had to do temporal teaching for... That's like uh, Advocate Marara now, we are talking to. <laughs> <laughs> and you said uh, your father passed and you were, you were 13, you know, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and raised by a single mother, you know. Yes, yes, um, yes. You know, d d tell us about how, how life was, you know, back then and being raised by a, 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 I mean, a single mother. You know, you know what, um, my mother was a housewife. Mm. Um... All, all her life, she was just um, that wife. Mm, mm. And when my father died, I literally remember could things changed. Mm -hmm. Why? It was no, 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 no income is coming. Mm -hmm. And they need food, they need everything. And she literally would get out of her comfort zone. Mm -hmm. We started selling, became a vendor for me to go to school. Mm. 
So when I'm always telling that story, I'm always trying to say, guys, we also need to be grateful for the people God has used mm -hmm. for us to be where we are. Things were not necessarily easy. Mm -hmm. um, she sacrificed a lot, eh? Yeah. And um, she ended up getting a chronic back pain up to now uh, because of carrying a lot of things for mm. to Anawa Kure mm. and, mm. and so forth. Mm. But um, I think all that experience literally shaped me seeing my mother in the street. Mm -hmm. some of banana charas, one yes. All I, I respect my vendors. Yeah. I respect my vendor. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't know what Zingra and so forth, but those are people who are trying to make a genuine living, living yeah. for their children. Mm -hmm. And those are people who are faced with the reality to realize no one is coming to change their mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. And they take responsibility for their lives. And you know, I, I have the privilege to see all that sacrifice. And for me, I think it really played a lot of uh, role in terms of shaping how I think, yeah. in terms of shaping even my level of commitment. Because, ah, I really need to mm -hmm. change. Mm -hmm. I need something to change. Yeah. Which is why wh one of my commitments, Ola, is to see more and more people upgrading their lives. Yes. To see more and more men, if you're married, empowering their spouses mm -hmm. as well. And also see women, wherever you are, no matter how comfortable your setup is, to mm. also empower yourself, mm -hmm. Ola. Mm -hmm. Because we're a woman That's true. You know, we've got a generation of Yohan, because you know, one of them got marriage is the key out of poverty. Mm. But, but you see, Murume, he said, I don't know, Guramba, yeah. And what are you going to do? Yeah, so... So, yeah, I, I did temporary teaching two, mm. two terms. And before before you go there, yeah. uh, in, an, in, in an interview I came across online, you, mm. you said that uh, it's not where you come from uh, that determines true, your destiny, true, true, true. but where you are going. You know, advocate, my phone, but 10 kilometers, you know, you call yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> But here you are, one of the <laughs> most successful, uh, successful individual. Uh, yeah, yeah. Zimbabwe. And uh, yeah. um, they could have just, you know, quit. Uh, but clearly, um, you held on. And uh, what kept you going uh, and uh, what motivated you? You know what, Ola? Um, mm. I'm, I'm really humble, to be honest. Mm. But, uh, whatever that I'm doing, I'm the first. Uh, no one in my family had ever done for A-level. Mm. No one in my family had ever gone to university. Mm. 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 No one in my family had never been in a newspaper. Now I'm writing for three newspapers. Wow. I, I'm, I'm the business weekly on Friday, Saturday, around I'm there. Wow. And I also do Sunday Mail. Wednesday, which is today. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on the Galaxy. Um, wow. Shot in the arm with mm. weekend, and now I'm mm. with you. Yeah. Um, for me, I think my story is really an inspiration that is hope for almost Very everyone. True. Very true. It doesn't matter where you're coming from, how mm -hmm. you start. And now, remembering, that's what room forums mm -hmm. when he passed on, mm -hmm. was a way to extend it and so forth. But I'm, I'm really grateful for, for all those experiences, mm -hmm. Kuti. It has helped me to connect with the ordinary person. Yeah. And now, if you followed the, the bulk of the messages that mm -hmm. I do, which is pretty much one of my... That's my way of also giving back to the mm, community. Mm. Where I'm trying to help people or like to realize you're not a victim yeah, of your past. Yeah, sure. You are what you decide to be. Mm. So I could have easily said Nagafiro and so forth and did a game with Yeah. But I think I also thank God for an understanding of being a firstborn. I'm a firstborn. Yeah. It's also a calling. Can I firstborn? One of your responsibilities, Ola, is to be able to set a good example mm. so mm. that everyone and Kwansawana Chokute. Because a number of times, Mugatunga means a door for Gumbiri. Munoko is a rooter. But I'm going to tell you, Matsimba, EIO. Exactly. We are talking to Advocate uh, Adva Marara on the spot. You can check us out on uh, our Facebook page, Staff and Facebook page, and as well as my Facebook page, DJ All of Seven Staff and Facebook page. Okay? Um, at one point, you were a relief teacher uh, back then in Mashingo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My sister, which uh, <laughs> subjects? <laughs> yeah. So I. I, I went to a school called um this is mm -hmm. that's where I first went. Okay. Um <laughs> 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 two AM to buy the bus. I'm not two AM two AM dad. I bought on a watch or an alarm. That's on a cell phone. So you know the old boy I don't know. Ah, I'm not a two email as a quarter hundred gubes on that. Hey. So now sugar by the two overstuffed. So I, I literally had to make my way mm -hmm. back. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I, I'd go back, went back, then I was allocated a place called Nyajina. Mm -hmm. Nyajina was really something else, Mdara, because I was dropped off just before Renko Mine. Mm -hmm. And in Bruce 105, where is Nyajina Primary? So I'm mm Dara -hmm. Pacha farm boy. Mm. I, I literally think close to 20 case. Yeah, I'm going to go to a primary store for the and so forth. And I remember Shiraram mm -hmm. Road. I, I thank God for a family that really helped me that night. Mm -hmm. And um, 
fortunately kuna wana wetu zizo so they mm-hmm. literally helped me the following mm-hmm. day to yeah. actually go to the school yes. yeah so za dera kutu no for two days which end up chukoro but I, i literally learned that was a character shaping moment mm, mm. and is that place where now i seriously began to actually experiment with writing yeah. now what do you do because una magiza una anything yes. so one the time you put uh, time to read your bible and so forth mm. and you get more time to actually get to refine your ideas and mm-hmm. so forth yeah so i i, I did um temporary teaching at uh, nyajena i was teaching my great form there mm-hmm. uh, yeah lovely lovely people <laughs> lovely lovely people yes yeah so it, it also forced me to really adjust mm-hmm. and by the way i'm actually very passionate about teaching that's, okay. that's one of the things that i actually think god has called me yeah. to do i'm yeah. very passionate about that mm-hmm. so it's it allowed me to see some more wonderful people and also learn from some wonderful people from Nyajena primary mm-hmm. then when i finished Nyajena i went back same style i went to a school in Mas- Masingo uh and ashika baba i'm not able to understand how them but campus pa chiko uro mdara ku Masingo which is why i always tell people never judge a person because of how they look today yes zvino zvino chinja mdara mangwana anga to munhu anochisa mangwana ane ta munhu anochikisa mangwana they can shock you yeah 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 akandi ta mashura mdara what happened You know what? I, I don't know maybe I don't want to know no room hey what you do hey chichi in the room for big I know your bag yeah yeah hey ruto age bado chichi get away on degree and so forth hey you know I'm in mean, root get my degree mm-hmm. yeah and so I just left but you see one of the things that I always tell people people never forget the force they'll forget what mm-hmm. you said but they yeah. they'll never forget how you made them feel that's very true which is why I always believe let's be kind to people and you, uh, yeah. you're one of the most sought after attorneys uh, why did you choose uh, law it's a passion um law it gives me an opportunity to really communicate it's, for me it's an instrument of hope mm-hmm. helping people it's really something so yeah, amazing yeah, yeah. um i think it really ties into what i believe summarizes me i want to inspire people on someone to look at me and say because of you mm-hmm. i didn't give up and uh, what type of law did you i mean do you do you practice so i uh, i love family mm-hmm. I, i love family law so family law that covers a lot of things uh your your divorces mm-hmm. not necessarily that i like divorce no i yeah. don't but kind of zaramba zaramba i i do that <laughs> uh, your, your garden <laughs> sheep <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i do that so so all things family i do um then i'm i'm very very keen on my commercial transactions i love commercial transactions helping yeah. people um I do my transactions of various types um i, I really enjoy that mm-hmm. as well then i also do civil damages law mm-hmm. civil damages law is one thing that i think really helps me connect with many people mm-hmm. um I I remember in in the past helping my family so I know anga or any my gets. Yeah, it's really devastating. Eish. But being able to take up those cases mm-hmm. and help my families get closure. Yeah. For me it's quite quite amazing. Mm-hmm. Um it's never about the money. It's it's really about making a difference. Making a difference. And waking up something all that inspires you. Yeah, that's true. Kuna wana kwanda wana mari very depressed. Mm. Not saying mari kaya kana kasterik but really find something that fulfills you as well so that whatever that you're doing has to make sense you see what you're doing on a microphone mm. you are alive yeah true so the, the idea really when you're choosing whatever that you want to do choose something that when you're doing you're alive and uh, what is the difference between um, an advocate and a lawyer or a legal uh, uh, practitioner all right so this is one thing I, i think that's one um, area which is uh, quite confusing yeah true so this is what happens um the term advocate and lawyer they are not necessarily provided in our law books. Mm. There's one name that describes what we call a lawyer is called a legal practitioner. Legal practitioner. So the term advocate was used before independence uh because there were two types, there were advocates then there were attorneys. Mm-hmm. So anonze my advocates back then these were people with access to your high courts, mm-hmm. your supreme courts, your superior courts. Only only of which it was usually warungu. Oho. So in 1980 the idea is now let's also empower mm-hmm. our colleagues. Yeah. Uh, so what do they what do they do? The Legal Practitioners Act now removes the distinction mm-hmm. between mm-hmm. advocates and attorneys. And, then, uh-huh. and once the distinction is removed, Chinozo Sara Chiripo is what is called a de facto mm-hmm. bar. A de facto bar is where you elect to practice as an advocate. Mm-hmm. If you're electing to practice as, as an advocate, it's usually you. Mm-hmm saying i'm not going to deal with clients directly okay that's the difference mm-hmm. so advocates they get instructions from lawyers okay that that's the difference mm-hmm. advocates get instructions directly from uh, mm-hmm. from from lawyers, lawyers but lawyers get instructions directly 
from the from admin. clients or from clients oh yes yeah yes. so so usually what many people do when they're using the term advocate it's actually a rough description to describe almost every lawyer mm. but in in actual terms when you're talking about an advocate you're split talks you're talking about someone who practices law uh getting instructions from uh lawyers so who is above who Abanar above who um these are all lawyers mm -hmm. but you know don't go is the distinction i'm not going to be dealing with clients clients oh, okay so mainly advocates what they do these are people who mainly focus on litigation mm. <laughs> so, so these are people who literally take their time so lawyers for example yeah they get time to do your agreements they mm -hmm. get time to to do your advice notes mm -hmm. as well they get time to do your convincing they mm -hmm. get time to do your name changes and so forth so you take uh, advice, I mean, no, advice from the... So me, I don't practice as, a, as an advocate. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's why I say attorney, author, speaker. Oh, yes. I think you have seen that description. Yes, yes. No, yes. I, I don't practice as an advocate. Mm. I practice as an attorney. Attorney, yeah. Yes, so I actually deal with clients directly. Mm -hmm. But what is happening in Zim is many people, because of that distinction, is not clearly known. So an attorney is uh, same as the, the lawyer as well? So attorney, that's uh, that's more of an American term for a lawyer. Oh, for a lawyer. Oh. Yeah, but still in Zim it also applies. Mm -hmm. So it's slash attorney slash lawyer. Lawyer. Mm -hmm. So so up to now you actually have to decide mm -hmm. uh, what does uh, that mean if you want to practice. Mm -hmm. Then obviously the law society will actually register you as an advocate mm -hmm. or as an attorney. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, uh, um, so now I'm going to call you attorney. It's okay. <laughs> yes, yes. So do you think um, uh, enough people are knowledgeable about um, uh, the law and their rights? All right. Uh, well, I spent four years in law school. Mm -hmm. And up to now, there's several things of the law that I don't know. Really? Of course, the law is evolving. Mm -hmm. The law is changing. Yeah, it's and change, yeah. It's quite a vast mm -hmm. area of mm -hmm. law. Uh, and when you're in university, you don't study everything, by the way. Mm -hmm. So the answer that I'll actually tell you is that there's a lot of work and room for legal education mm -hmm. in terms of what does the law say which is why i think some of the programs that you're doing you guys are very important mm -hmm. where we begin to identify some key topical areas mm. in the past one of the topical areas was the marriages act mm -hmm. what does it mean civil partnerships what does that mean so now the role is how do we get to take information out there how mm -hmm. do we get to take information to the people mm -hmm. look at the constitution 2013 constitution many people have not even read the constitution mm. but now one of the things that i've seen consistently is the government trying to promote access uh to the constitution in various languages mm -hmm. because uh, there is need to really raise um, awareness. awareness yeah. yeah, I actually did a documentary for, for the EU, such a long YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, which was talking about legal access. Mm -hmm. um, I think access to justice as well, uh, what it means, mm -hmm. and to what extent do many people have access to justice. justice yeah. um, so, so generally, you would not expect an ordinary person to know law at the level of a lawyer. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Uh, because it's actually a specialized area. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you go as an individual, you might not actually be able to prosecute your case in a yeah. better way mm -hmm. than someone who is actually trained mm -hmm. would do. Yeah. So the answer that I'll give you is there's still a lot of work to be done mm -hmm. in terms of access to justice. Uh, there is a little f lot of work to be done in terms of empowering people in terms of key areas yes. uh, that affect uh, their lives almost on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So like what I said, law is really, really uh, quite broad. Mm -hmm. That's why people need to understand uh, the specific areas that they've got an interest in. Mm -hmm. For example, I've given you an example of family law. Mm -hmm. Right now, you want to divorce. How do you do it? So now when you go to court, the court cannot help you. Mm -hmm. The court is simply a registry. Yeah. But yeah. otherwise, if you want to help, go elsewhere. Okay. Yeah, go elsewhere. They don't advise people. Mm. You've been mm. fired today. You want to assert your rights. Yeah. And you go to court. The, the court will simply say, <laughs> we're not going to give you advice. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, the, the role of the court is not actually to advise mm people is simply to preside over cases okay is it necessary for an individual to have a lawyer exactly why because a law is actually a specialized area Ola. it's it's very specialized mm -hmm. uh, so today i was in the commercial court um the commercial court uh since last year they went electronic meaning you cannot file a paper hard copies mm -hmm. it's all electronic yeah and that process is not easy by the way um i, I literally to go thank god for the wonderful stuff at the commercial mm. court I, I got assistance. I properly got a practical tutorial on mm. how to file. Mm. Mm. But now imagine an ordinary person. How are they going to manage? Mm. So which is why I think it's very important for people to realize that it's very important to have a lawyer. The same mm -hmm. way if you know recover, we mm -hmm. also need to have lawyers. Yeah. Uh, someone you can call before you sign that agreement. Mm. Mm. Someone you can call before you decide to ignore court papers. Mm. Someone you can call when someone is threatening you. Someone you can call when your rights are being threatened. Yeah. Not to abuse. Yeah. 
Uh, I hear many people say, talk to my lawyer, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Mm. The idea is really not to intimidate people, but yeah. to be able to say, okay, how can I best protect mm. my rights? My right, so yeah. one of the things that I constantly tell people, Ola, is my role is to keep clients away from court. Keep clients away, away from, from the from court. court. Yeah, yeah that's, my, that's my practice. <laughs> so as a, as a matter of fact, I, I don't go to court more than 20 times in a year. Mm. No, I avoid. So why? Because if there's a better way of solving a case, I'd rather use that. Change. But if it doesn't... Then we go to court. Guys, I get paid to speak. <laughs> uh, I'll go to court. Advocate, I heard uh, uh, stories of people who get sentenced, you know. So, but I later came on. Anga has na mosa. Yeah. At home, we save. Mangama kora harim kati. Yeah, yeah. Then, when you choose to fabas say ipa po. All right. Try to come and of course we. It, um, it depends now with the specific facts. Mm. Which number one goes back to the issue of, do you have access to legal representation? Mm -hmm. Then, secondly, um, if you don't have access to legal representation there are consequences mm -hmm. so you go to court you can plead guilty something yeah. that was not supposed to be pleading oh, guilty yeah. yeah so a number of times when you go to courts like rotten row you can actually see that this person has, is admitting mm -hmm. things that they're not supposed to be admitting mm, yeah or they're allowing a certain document to be produced mm. which ordinarily should not be produced mm. or the arguments that are being advanced by the other party they are actually selling because someone doesn't know that this argument is not valid mm, at all mm. So a number of times during the trial process, many people, they really don't know what happens. Because mm. when you go through a trial, a criminal trial, the key aspect, Ola, is to be able to say, okay, does the state actually have a case? Mm. If you don't ask the pertinent questions, you're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> because once the door is closed, so they're giving you time, so the, judge, the, the magistrate is going to make a decision based mm. on what has been presented. Mm. And by the way, the, the role of the magistrate is not actually to say, Ola, ask that question. Mm -hmm. Because the, uh, the magistrate is more of an umpire. Yeah. They usually come in and say, okay, how can I get clarification on one, two, yes, three, four, five. Yes. So it becomes very important for people to really get access to that. So how do you get to a point where you say someone has been wrongly sentenced? Usually what happens is maybe when the issue has been taken on appeal, when mm -hmm. someone has managed to got, uh, get competent legal advice mm. and legal representation as well. That's when maybe you can say, oh, okay, some injustice was done. Mm -hmm. Then you start getting some corrective measures. So the case of the case of the case of the case of All right. So what, what happens if you have been illegally um, arrested? Mm -hmm. uh, there's something called malicious arrest. Someone has just caused you to be arrested and so forth. And um, you can actually sue for malicious prosecution. Mm -hmm. That is if you're acquitted. Yeah. But you see, usually when you have been convicted mm -hmm. and you've been sentenced mm -hmm. it's it's difficult mm. why because already the the judicial system has gone through it and formulated the position mm -hmm. that you're actually guilty yes. so there's also something called the independence of the judiciary which extends to the magistrates and so forth so there is also a need to respect that. That's why if you are not able with the decision of a magistrate, you don't go to the magistrate, you mm -hmm. go to the next court. Advocate, uh, I've got so many questions for you, you know, and uh, I, I, we're going to be <laughs> quick. <laughs> All right, okay. okay, so how do you deal with uh, matters of conscience, you know, uh, when defending uh, or representing a client who is accused, uh, accused of uh, committing a heinous uh, crime uh, or, I mean, crimes, for example, a rape or of a minor child, uh, murder, I'm robber ETC. All right. So I'll actually tell you one thing. I don't take any case. I don't just take every case. Mm. No, I don't. I, I respect my sanity. I also respect my integrity. Mm -hmm. uh, the moment I decide to take a case, I actually believe in its justice. Mm. Why? Because I also don't want to make a fool of myself. So I need to ensure that when I'm taking up a case week, if what an arguable case. Mm -hmm. So any case that involves injustice, according to me, I take it up. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm very selective as well as to the type of cases that I take. Where, I where, where do you then uh, draw the line, uh, I mean, for yourself, to say, ah, are these cases uh, necessary or I will not take them? Personal values. Mm -hmm. Personal values. Right now, there are lawyers who have been practicing for 30-something years who mm -hmm. have never been in court in a single day. Really? Yep. You can actually elect that I don't go to court. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, several several people that I know right now we have never stepped into court. Yeah. Um and I know several people who have elected say mm. they're actually not going to be court. And as a matter of fact, in the next few years I won't be going to court. No, you would learn to go to in in the office and that. No, I I don't want to be. It's okay, you know, for for some time no, I I there was a time when I was almost in court almost every day. Mm. But of course, with time now, ah, you realize now. Mm. I now need to also to pass on the skills to the other people. <laughs> like so, so what, is the, what, what is your most memorable uh, um, um, uh, uh, court appearance or, or case? What's memorable? Ah, there are quite a number, uh, quite a number. But I, I don't think I, I'll still re recall uh, often, but I, I think being able to get judgments mm -hmm. instantly, which turn around clients' lives. Yeah. That's so amazing. Yeah. So like, like I said, for me, law is an instrument where we can 
inspire hope. I, I, I think it's quite exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was scary first few days. <laughs> <laughs> first few days. <laughs> of course, everything which you think us all, you'll be nervous and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it was, which is why I think one of the mistakes many people make mm -hmm. is to think that simply someone, because someone's studying law, they're actually confident. Mm -hmm. That's when I realized, oh, okay. So actually, <laughs> I, I had to heighten the art of public speaking when I started practice. Okay. Because that's when I realized, no, these things are actually very important. Yeah, very important. Because true. in law school, you don't get to learn public speaking as mm -hmm. a course. Mm -hmm. Yet is one of the skills that you actually need to polish. You need mm -hmm. to have a, a number of times people when they go to Groton Rail, mm -hmm. Fourth Street in Southworth, they get disappointed because what they see on TV, the lively arguments, the mm -hmm. so forth, is the opposite of what you see mm -hmm. when you get some of the courts. Yeah. Realize, ah, some of these guys they have not been preferred. Yeah. I want you to mm -hmm. So that's when I realize no, we actually have a role to play in terms of also equipping mm -hmm. uh, the lawyers, which is why I actually took up the role of also teaching at law school, saying, okay, how can we contribute in mm. building um, lawyers who are confident, who are passionate, mm. and also know and can be of assistance to the and, courts uh, and so forth. For, for, yeah. the, for the past years, uh, Advocate, uh, that you have practiced law, uh, what is the most challenging case, I mean, you have ever worked on? <laughs> <laughs> I have done it like what I have done. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, should, should I take with um, my, my cases? Um, it's, when my clients are coming through, mm -hmm. Uh, it's not necessarily because they've got straightforward matters. Yeah, one of my cases are really had a hopeless. Mm. Yeah, but one of the things that I've done, Ola, if a case is challenging, very complex, I usually take advantage of um, the social circles that we've built as lawyers. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that will help you in the practice of law is to be able to have a circle where you can say, guys, I've never done a case like this. Mm -hmm. uh, how can we best handle it? Alternatively, I can actually refer. Mm -hmm. So where whenever I, I meet a, a, a matter that is really complex, I either refer, alternatively, I can actually apply my mind and start researching. So far, JPM, I've been challenging. Challenging. You know what? Um, I'll tell you one thing. My first experience, first um, three weeks from law school, I was given a meta trial. <laughs> I'm not a member of that. I'm not a member of So what happened? So what happened? So what happened? Mob justice. Okay. So, Munaro Abebe, Afa, and Zanga Baba getting Yama in Sofa. Hey. Then, in that you are one of the accused. So, you mm. know, I was representing accused person number four. Mm. Mm. Number four. Mm. So, when you're given a middle trial, by the way, uh, the High Court, what it does, um, a, any person who is facing a capital offense, mm -hmm. they're given a lawyer for free. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, when you're facing murder, facing treason, anything that will result in capital sentence, mm -hmm. that's capital punishment, the, the, yeah. the death penalty. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are entitled to get what is called pro deal counsel. So pro deal counsel, the high court registry, one got some register how the lawyers are now on the alani. Chet. So one of the walk we turn on the Yeah, yeah. Um so fortunately the the the, the, the saving grace was Kumbiri Kong one with three. One of the guys you're talking about someone angani close to twenty, twenty five years experience. Yeah. yeah. He was the f representing the first accused person. Hey. <laughs> so Dara. the guy Dara would literally ask almost every question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So by the time yeah, there was the time he died, quite I always go some God. Ah, no questions. Everything mm -hmm. has been asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the good bit, the guy was acquitted. <laughs> no, he was acquitted. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. So and yeah. Uh, at least Magakosok so managed to win the the case. You know, I'm to, I'm talking to uh, advocate Arthur Marar. Ah, uh, very pano. Munongo wa nzoma street is nasty. You know, the owner of the land is going to court to go. So guys, let's and we are live on Facebook. Uh, start from Facebook page. You can check us out right now. And um, what is your word? I mean, of advice to aspiring lawyers and uh, law students on choosing uh, uh, this profession. It's such a great profession, Ola. Mm -hmm. um, including those people who don't want to be lawyers, please study law, mm -hmm. including you. Study law, it allows you to have a different perspective to things. Mm -hmm. um, it allows you to develop more analytical skills. Okay. So with time, uh, one of the things that I noticed is Mazok Tanga Law School, they used to take about 25 okay. students only. Jet. I'm not a law school, you know, Pisa. Yeah. Currently, as we speak, uh, investors of Zimbabwe is 15 points, whether a woman or whether a man. 15, 15 points. points. Yeah, no problem. them low. Yeah, yeah, 15 points. <laughs> so, I, I really see a great benefit to all the people who have gone through the program. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it is a way of sharpening your, 
your your intellectual skills, mm. sharpening your analytical skills, and also just giving a different way mm. of, of mm. dealing with things. Mm. Uh, it has also helped me in terms of how I write. Of course, I don't have to sound like a lawyer on yeah. writing my books and stuff, mm -hmm. but it has allowed me a lot to, to be able. So uh, what I encourage people is it's quite a great profession, but one thing that you need to have is also proper career guidance in law. Mm -hmm. Uh, choose something that also works well with your personality. Yeah. So a number of people, they are they're shy, they don't want to talk. Stay away from the courts. Mm -hmm. you rather go into corporate practice where you're advising companies, just internal counsel and so forth. Mm. But if you're the fighting type, in the moment, I'm behind the books. I don't write that. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's 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 really really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's quite a profession that also allows you to meet a lot of people. Yeah, and if you're lucky, you can also get to travel. But, oh, but why do you, co uh, I mean, lawyers uh, or attorneys uh, address each other as a uh, uh, learned friend, a learned counsel? All right. Um, that's one thing that I've been trying to correct to my lawyers. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a good concept. I mm. always believe we should be learning colleagues. Mm -hmm. Oh, learning. That's what I believe. Yeah. Not you know, learned. No, I don't believe in being a learned colleague. I mm. want to be a learning colleague. In other words, I want to continuously learn. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the, the idea then was, ah, this is a chi 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 chi. For me, I don't mm -hmm. subscribe to that. Mm -hmm. I rather subscribe to a principle that encourage is all of us to say we've got an assignment to learn. Mm -hmm. um, Ola, the law changes quite frequently. Mm -hmm. If you read our judgments, read the judgments 20 years ago, 30 years ago, many things have actually changed. Okay. Yeah. Um, not only uh, you are an attorney, but yeah. a transformational speaker as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you believe you have touched many lives out there? I don't know. What do you think, Ola? I th I, I, no, no, I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you. <laughs> You know what, I, I really think we've been able to actually make a difference, mm -hmm. reach out. And secondly, I, I don't believe God necessarily calls us to reach out to millions. Sometimes it's just one life. One life. Yeah. And how does it feel? I mean, how does it make you feel knowing you are making a difference, you know, in someone's life? For me, well, it's really humbling. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I tell people is I've never allowed the idea of being in the public domain to get into my head. I mm. remain as human as possible. Yeah. Uh, nothing to boast about. No? <laughs> uh, nothing. When did you embark on this journey of uh, motivational speaking? So, so you know what? I, I never actually anticipated that I was going to be doing this. Mm. The only thing that I wanted to do in my life was just to write books. Just being just an author. That's, what I, well, that's all I wanted. I, I never knew I was going to be doing all radio, blah, blah, blah. And, stuff. <laughs> and what was the thing I didn't You know what? I, when I started writing mm -hmm. for newspapers, I, I started getting invitations. Mm. If someone says no if you can speak the way you write mm -hmm. i think you make a great speaker. Ball. yeah i'm like oh, okay nice so well, when was it uh this is about 2009 2010 mm -hmm. and um i remember the sunday mail really played a very critical role mm -hmm. um it attracted some of the radio stations eventually in 2013 yes. i was on Star FM. yes and no god has been so kind uh, nice and you say enough of our uh, motivational quotes about uh, just a few caught my attention Which you know uh, the first one is uh, you know there is no elevator to success that's that's true Ola. uh please elaborate more on this one so an elevator is pretty much where you go you press seventh floor then it takes you there mm -hmm. um life is no elevator you have to take the stairs Ola. Mm -hmm. if you if you want to upgrade yourself if you want to develop yourself you need to take the stairs. Mm. Many people want to be where you are, Ola. Yeah. But they don't want to go through what you went through yes. to be where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Lauder is doing phenomenal videos. And thanks so much, Mike, for the work you're doing. Mm. He's doing phenomenal work. Um, he's done work with several brands. Mm -hmm. Many people want to work where he is, yes. but they don't want to walk where he is. Mm. Mm. They mm. just want to go to Dashiga. Dashiga Ibab. So, uh, Abana Elevator. Yeah. Um, in fact, one of my, my books is called No One Is Coming. Yeah. Ola, life. Mm -hmm. the, the life that you want. Exactly. So, But it can be a lifestyle. Where you are right now. Mm -hmm. Where they are. Yeah. Why? It's because of certain decisions that you've mm -hmm. made. Mm -hmm. Which is why we need to encourage people or like in Zim. I'm going to repeat this point. Mm -hmm. In Zim. To realize that life requires us to take personal responsibility. Mm. As much as And And uh, Sakawela, you know, you're talking about shortcuts. They are simply wasting time, right? It, it is actually a waste of time. Mm. Uh, you, know, you know, one of the things that we need to, to help people, there is no amount of motivation that will change your life. Mm -hmm. It's the amount of action. Amount of action. That will change your and life. And the other one is, is uh, money is universal. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Explain further on this. I'm not a religion. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Christ. I'm a Buddha. Money... But is money is money you are also an author who is so fond you know of uh, students uh what connection do you have with them y you know what happened Ola? um my first books were actually academic mm -hmm. so when i was in the process of discovering myself 
I, and I realized ah, I'm actually passionate about writing. The mm. question that I was having is, what do I write about? So I didn't know what to write about. Yeah. So when I did Mshika High School, where I did my A level, turns out my books are gone. So I was the first to stream, my pioneer, pioneering stream in my A levels and so forth. Then I realized, no, there's actually no books for what I was studying. Mm -hmm. Then I realized there was another book which had done my study guides. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I'm going to my separate books. Yeah. So if you're reading Acts, you have to buy Acts. Mm -hmm. If you're reading Galatians, you have to buy. So my, my thought was, what if I do an Old Testament version of that? Mm. Then instead of buying all these books, I put them in one book. Okay. So I took my notes, expanded them, mm -hmm. produced my first book. And you have authored 20 books, including A-level history and uh, divinity textbook. Yeah, yeah. Um, as of 2022. Is that correct? Nine books have been approved, recommended for use in all schools by mm -hmm. the ministry. Nine primary. books? Yeah, yeah, nine. Wow. Um, it's, it's been quite a journey. Yeah. So, so because of those books, it allowed me to actually interact with students more mm -hmm. through seminars. We traveled a bit. Mm -hmm. And whilst working on those books, that's when I realized there's a dimension in me, which is l motivational, inspirational, transformational. Mm -hmm. That's when I realized, ah, I think I found something to write about. Uh, yeah. Oh, and how many motivational books uh, do you have in your name? Um, so all in all, you're looking at uh, 29 academic 11 um 11 inspirational books mm. just that i've slowed down a bit of but i've got quite a number of manuscripts that are actually ready right now mm -hmm. uh, but i've been trying to release uh bit by bit so that we also get to all people mm -hmm. without overleading them with uh, too much information and where do you get the knowledge from you know or what inspires you so i i love talking about the practical order. i I'm, I'm not i'm not a motivational speaker mm -hmm. i'm a transformational speaker transformational speaker yeah so one thing that i always tell people I, I say, hey this motivational speaker and this Mm -hmm. In I'm a lawyer who mm -hmm. happens to speak. Yeah. It's a funny difference. Mm -hmm. Pan a, pan a motivational speaker. Ah, in this. Difference in the In in the lawyer. Ola. No profession I'm going to Yeah. But my hobby. Was that right? That's it. <laughs> Your hobby. Is what I'm doing now. Yeah. But I want to end up fishing. I want to dump a bora. Ah, in the hobby microphone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But my hobby allows me to make a difference. Mm. So, how do you get information? My, my, my information, Ola, is pretty much inspiration driven and I, I'm, I'm spiritual I, mm -hmm. I believe God should also give us the right messages for the time yeah because a number of times when you go to the microphone mm -hmm. or like people are about to make critical decisions yes yes I've encountered people when they commit suicide they sent you a message thanks for the message mm -hmm. I've stopped yeah and you have written so many books uh, from no one is coming take yeah. a lesson from uh, the ends uh, toys for adults. <laughs> uh, just to mention a few. Uh, Pamatachos about toys for adults was kind of uh, you know, controversial. What is the message behind it? Alright, so co I, I controversial to try to One of the things that controversial is not controversial. Toys for adults. You know what the toys? Mm -hmm. toys are toys for adults. Mm -hmm. So, this book is inspired by the realities of 2015. Order. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Court confirms the Supreme Court right of an employer mm -hmm. to terminate a contract of employment on three months' notice. Yeah. Within a space of two weeks, over 50,000 people are fired. Hey. Mon any company car, any company house, company maid, mm -hmm. company gardener, yeah. company internet, company dish, everything. Just go to a company wife. Chet. This is a joke. We'll one day all that is taken. Yeah. So, my, my message in Toys for Adults Ola, is simple. It's good to get a good job, mm -hmm. but learn to plan for life without that job. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Don't get to be too comfortable yeah. and forget to develop an additional stream of income. Wow. That's why this book is really helping people in terms of how can you develop mm. multiple streams of income. You see, Ola, what imagine is yeah. the point that I always make, and this many people don't like, any person Ola, who controls any part of your time can always release you from it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so the idea of toys is for people not to to get to relax. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. Everything uh -huh. and, and you know what my companies do? I know Gary's two hundred dollars. I know Gary say two thousand. Feel like comfortable, oh, so comfortable. Then you forget. Then when I go into the school, I was But one day when they say it's over, when I walk for no winds, I go to the school. I go to the My standards of living up are the change. Exactly, which, which is why I'm saying yeah. this book is literally for people who mm -hmm. want to be objective. Yeah. And say, 
how can I diversify mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. income? And uh, we have uh, students who have uh, just finished their, their A-levels yep. uh, and are struggling to make uh, a decision in choosing a program that they want to study, you know, at uh, tertiary level. What is your advice to them? All right, so what my advice, Ola, is the two ways to die quickly. Number one, marry the wrong person. Mm -hmm. If you want to die quickly, yeah? Yeah. marry the wrong person. Mm -hmm. I know go stress us go off. Yeah. Number two, choose the wrong career. Mm -hmm. Remember, your career is going to take up a lot of productive time. Some of your finest times mm -hmm. is going to be going through what you do between eight to five, mm -hmm. which means your career becomes one of the most important decisions yeah. that you ever make. Mm. I told you one thing, Ola, choose something that when you're doing, you feel alive. Mm-hmm. But no, no, you on the teaching at Badari Iwe. I've had the privilege of seeing teachers studying my schools. Mm. I've had the privilege of seeing my teachers who are doing phenomenal businesses. Mm. So what I encourage people is be able to find something that suits your personality. Mm -hmm. Find something that you don't mind doing, even mm -hmm. if you're not going to be paid. Yeah. Because you see, a number of times when I'm going to worry about very good paying jobs, mm -hmm. but it's not really who they are. Yeah. And uh, you always say you failed all level mathematics, you know, uh, but still pursued with what you wanted to study. Yet they are not needed in a program. In fact, um, I think well, one thing that we need to, I think I'll actually hate that conversation. Mm -hmm. It's There's no point in insisting on maths. When the actual combination of dog stud mm -hmm. is never sending meds. Mm -hmm. But I'm not saying on Gosta Stud meds very, very important. I think later on down my seventies in just was neuros wrong. But it's really not necessary to mm -hmm. sound pressure. But yeah. the instance is whereby what you want to study exactly requires mm -hmm. you to have meds. Mm -hmm. I, I think in that particular instance you definitely have to. But for an H coro, I really encourage them to do that. Why did I mm -hmm. fail meds? Mm -hmm. Then I was surrounded myself now on a three serious shit. Yeah. Yeah, and then did I was not go to Bojong. But I think <laughs> then I had all serious name on those passes. Never was passed. But manji koma basaya and gajinzi including English and meds. True. So this is what I'm saying, Kuti. When the the combination or the opportunity requires meds, mm -hmm. you rather actually get the meds. Yeah. Yeah. Because the process of trying to change that system cannot be that easy. Yeah. True. So rather than delay yourself, I, I'd actually encourage someone to go back and write. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To get out score and don't your meds. You for a long English in the way see. Mm-hmm. Um, law school, I, I really thank God, was not a step of faith. They actually wanted yeah. to be in English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But so I'm testament and proof to the fact that mm. and uh, we have uh, those parents uh, who choose career paths, you know, for their children. And then when I was writers, you know, uh, because the parent is the one paying fees, you know, for them. What's your take on that? That's not right. Um, sometimes we need to realize that our mandate or lies not to impose our dreams on children. Mm -hmm. But to be able to enable our children to also experience their own dreams. Mm. It's very, very important. Yes, I hosted uh, uh, Tadiwana She Mavetera, yeah, yeah. who scooped 50 points well at Simsek A level 2022. Some congratulated him, uh, whereas others criticized, saying ah, it wasn't necessary to write 10 subjects. Uh, what's your comment um, uh, on that, on, on the matter? All right, so my, my comment is congratulations to the young man. I, 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 don't, I, I don't want to claim to be an expert, Jack Simsek. Mm -hmm. Now, when you write the Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it was one mm -hmm. uh, Why people do what they do is entirely up to them in mm -hmm. terms of why do they choose, choose to do yeah. like I wonder want. Mm -hmm. But sometimes yeah. when you're going through university, they only consider three. Only three. Only three. And mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So can a combination determine on a certain particular combination? That's what they're actually looking mm -hmm. for. So the reasoning is Vananga three. So they can give combination, mm -hmm. whatever combination they're actually doing the final grades. Mm -hmm. But no one already talented all mm -hmm. or we can do more. I think young one year go to switch kids as well. Cheat. Yeah, cheat. <laughs> but, but otherwise, um, <laughs> the, 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 the goal at the end of the day is to be able to actually achieve your goal. All right. But I, I'm, I'm really happy for the young men. Eh? And in an interview uh, you did with our fellow sister journalist, um, you mentioned that uh, uh, you believe in the power of fasting. Um, you know, as we kick start, at the year, most religions, um, you know, one of our tanga did to practice uh, 10 days of fasting. 20 days, uh, 30 days. 20 days, you know, and uh, you are a strong believer of fasting. What has fasting done, you know, for you? All right. I think I, 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 I didn't just end with fasting. Mm -hmm. I was trying to put that point in context. You can fast, but if you don't understand the laws of success, you can fast and be frustrated. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to fast. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, one of the things that I've been trying to correct people is fasting is just part of a bigger equation. Mm -hmm. But it's not the entire equation. Yeah. Which means we need to teach the complete gospel. You want financial breakthrough. Yeah. Financial breakthrough, I, I, I school's where boys were shout out financial breakthrough. Yeah. It's going to come because you understand the laws that govern money. Mm -hmm. And once you understand the laws that govern money, I want you to be to get to a point where you begin to understand. 
with what is it that you need to do. So I believe beyond fasting, you need to have a plan, you need to have a strategy, and you need to execute. So personal role is not necessary uh, to fast. No, waste of time. Mm. <laughs> so you must be a busy man. Where do you strike the balance between uh, work and family? So the secret, Ola, is uh, I'm very busy. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of priorities. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't want to you got a bora one hour thirty minutes. Yeah. Anyway, you prioritize that. <laughs> so anything that is truly important, Ola, you give time. That's why I'm gonna know that I can't see you now. Yeah. Because they're seeing someone important. Mm -hmm. I can't do this now because they're doing something that they think is actually important. Yeah. So I believe in the power of prioritizing. Mm -hmm. So always learn to prioritize. That that is very important. So like now I already know that everyone is damn committed. So mm -hmm. I actually block my diary. Yeah. So when I go to court, I usually avoid um, scenarios whereby the date is going to fall in on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, it's falling on a Wednesday. I shall ask that can we do court at eleven? Mm -hmm. That's just prioritizing. Yeah, yeah. Then the instance whereby you are just given a court date. Mm -hmm. That instance, that's when I usually say, "Ah, guys, I'm coming. Let's record." Mm -hmm. Or let's do some alternative arrangements. Yes, yes. That's prioritizing. We can all prioritize. Mm -hmm. No one is ever too busy for people that are important to them. Mm -hmm. Powerful. And uh, Hans, all are thanks for bringing him Dara Marara. Chiba Besi. I was going to ask you to ask you to Dara Marara. Hans, you know, very true. I'm a single mother. And never have to ask you 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 Hi, Ola. Uh, Atha. Animals may never have gone. It's a first born, it could set up pace. Um, oh, you mentioned about uh, uh, first born, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I actually believe it's um, it's a calling in the sense that we we actually it's a leadership role. Mm -hmm. That's what I actually believe, yes. Um, so every person who will keep us that role, we have a responsibility to mm -hmm. inspire the next generation, yes. Uh, so that people can believe yeah. that it's actually doable. How many kids do you have? No, I don't answer those questions. I don't know about that. I, I, I don't answer those questions. Um, I think as we all meet here, we are not aware of it. Hands teaching high, but Dari Ola, as my teacher, are we to marry? Ne kungwa vangwa. But my mother loves to teach me. So I'm actually in teaching, by the way. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I teach at the university. Mm -hmm. Why? It's for me. I think it's a way of also growing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, boss, apart from opening up class, so do prepare as well. Yeah. But secondly. I wanted to realize that Abana is not Yeah. So, before you go, I'm going to microphone. I'm going to go to the microphone. I'm going to go to the microphone. I'm going to go to the microphone. So, what's up before you go? Yeah. Abana is not a Go to Magaba. So, it's it's knowing how to monetize yeah. Yeah. that skill. And uh, can you ask advocate if law requires meds? And that means it. Maybe I'm going to 15 points. I, uh, so right, right now, 15 points are going to come in. They should go to meet the house of Taris. What was our way around this? My 15 was the ones. So all of Anganichi, Anganichi. Oh, yeah. But even if you fail to qualify from our local investor, there's so mm -hmm. many options. You can always start with um, my investors abroad mm -hmm. and do your conversions and increase nice. the price. Hi, Ola. I was helped by Arthur Marara's study packs. I uh, didn't know I, uh, I will meet him one day. Wow. Advocate is a great personality. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Mr. Marara. Following your babies, uh, that uh, the only way to go. Akim Kwendambairi uh, from Pretoria. Nice. That's South Africa. Hans, hi, Ola. Um, Hans, is there short courses for law? Uh, please comment on the round strategy of saving money. All right. So, 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 currently speaking, um, you need to have an LLB degree, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is uh, being offered by quite a number of investors locally. Mm -hmm. But my short courses, so far, I have not my diploma in so forth, but those are not going to allow you. I don't mm -hmm. got my diploma in my particular uh, areas and so forth, mm -hmm. but those are not going to allow you to be in a courtroom. Yeah. So you rather focus on actually getting the proper law degree. Mm -hmm. And once you get the proper law degree, then you get registered as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Advocate. Uh, thank you so much, Ola. It's and, been really uh, great. Eh? But, uh, maybe that's the last question. Uh, what do you do during your spare time if uh, you have any? <laughs> spare time? No, I do have spare time. I I, I, I relax writing. Mm -hmm. Then when I'm speaking, I, I enjoy traveling. Yeah. That has allowed me to travel a lot. And um, spare time, young, when I'm coming on, on the Morning Galaxy, yeah. the, those spare time young, as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, then I also watch some good movies kind of any time. Mm -hmm. But not any time wrong. But yeah, I, I really get, get to relax. How can people get in touch with you? I'm on Facebook, Ola. Um, you can follow me on Facebook and also show me the platforms. Then on WhatsApp, it's 078 
Zero seven eight double zero double five one five two. If you send a message, I'll send you a link. You can join some of our free groups. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. nice one. I thought it was, uh, advocate Arthur Marara Watanga Charno on us on the spot. My name is DJ Ola Seven Owen. We Komadolo. You can follow me on Instagram at DJ Ola Seven. Insta uh, then Facebook page at DJ Ola Seven Star FM. Twitter handle at DJ Ola underscore Seven. Don't forget to follow us on the big one at Star FM Zimbabwe. You can check us out as well on my YouTube channel at DJ Ola Seven. Many thanks to the crew behind the scenes and you get right dingana madam producer and uh, my cloud five mushun get the guy behind the uh, the cameras you know kuti munge muchiona chirongwa muri kumba tichi pepeta zvakana kana kana akwana sinomirira pano chakusema katirira ka issues pane nyanya with rumbi dzai venge discussing absentee uh, fathers akuna uh, baba vasiri kubatika panzvimbo vanongo siya vanga obva ngoenda so dzira kuke dzichikurukura ba so it's a simo cast from uh, uh, between uh, uh, kapitok and um, star fm kwanas Bye bye. Mura is Raganak. Summertime. It starts on Star FM. Star FM. Sounding good all the time.